Disneyland's new Star Wars theme park, Galaxy's Edge, will officially open tomorrow. But Julia Borston already got inside and talked to Disney CEO Bob Iger. And uh, a lot of people eagerly awaiting this park, Julia. That's right, Becky. I'm here inside Galaxy's Edge right now. This is the $1 billion expansion of Disney's California park. And Disney CEO Bob Iger telling me that he believes that this land will help grow demand for Disney's parks, despite the fact that they recently raised ticket prices and the fact that this land will only have one ride at launch. When you can give people an immersive experience, which is what Disneyland was designed to be in the first place, but something that is as rich as this, that heightens the whole experience for people in ways that I, I don't think were ever imagined when we didn't have either the resources or the technology. Um, and so I think more than anything, people are going to just be awestruck by how rich the experience is here. Disney worked for five years to create 14 acres that captures the look and feel of the Star Wars movies with Star Wars themed food and blue milk, as well as an assortment of stores in an outdoor marketplace. Now, the main attraction here is the Millennium Falcon ride, which I checked out yesterday. It uses technology to put park visitors in control with the same ride launching when Star Wars Land opens in Orlando in August. Now, this is just one of a range of new lands and attractions based on established franchises that are opening at other parks. With Lego Movie World, which opened in Florida in March, Nickelodeon Universe opening in New Jersey in the fall, and Lionsgate Entertainment World set to launch this summer in China. Of course, Universal's Harry Potter Land continues to add rides with another ride opening in Florida this year. All of these different companies are looking to tap into the growing market for theme parks. It's a $20 billion annual business just in the U.S.